Welcome. The purpose of this tutorial is to help you manage your emails more effectively by creating folders and setting up routing rules to automatically move emails from your inbox to your newly created folders. First of all, I want to draw your attention to your, your uh, left side frame of your email. Um, when you're logged into Gaggle and you're looking at your inbox, um, you'll all notice um, uh, little doodads off to the left here um, from Gaggle, Applications and Mail. Make sure you're looking at your mail. You'll see your inbox here. Um, if you notice, it, sometimes your inbox kind of gets cluttered with a um, number of e emails from uh, the same um, the same person uh, or organization and uh, if you have your settings for Wikispaces set as I do every time there's a change um, and, not, and they seem to come in uh, bunches as people are editing and saving often um, and that will clutter your inbox so I prefer to keep my inbox uh, not cluttered um, and with with uh, these types of emails, although I do find them useful and helpful to go back and track some of the changes that are going on in Wikispaces. So what I've done is to create a folder. Um, first of all, um, you may not see your folders, and you may just see something that says my folders, but it's are, are empty at first. You'll have to create your new folders. In order to do that, you'll need to do a right click um, on a, if you have a Mac mouse, which most of us do, you'll, that means a control click. So you'll hold your control button down and click on the mouse um, over your My Folders. And you'll see a little pop-up that says New Folder. Click on New Folder, and you'll see a new folder pop-up down below. You want to rename that folder. For my, for my demonstration here, I'm going to rename it Wikispaces because I'm going to... Uh, have the Wikispaces emails that I get routed automatically to this folder so they don't go, they will bypass my inbox and go straight to this folder. Once I've created that, um, I will need to create some routing rules. Um, in order to create the routing rules, you need to be on your folder that you're in, uh, that you want it to go in. And then you'll notice up here it says check mail, blah, 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 blah. I'll go over here to routing rules. If you click on routing rules, um, you'll see some uh, routing rules that come up. Actually, I've got one for Wikispaces, and I'm going to go ahead and delete here so I can show you how to, how to do that. So you'll click add. You want to give it a name. The ma there's no magic to the name. It's just uh, helps you helps com the the computer program remember uh, which which routing rule you're using. Um, and then I'm going to use uh, from an email. So I'm going to actually. There's a couple options here. You can in the from line of the email if it has a certain text it'll, that'll that'll trigger that's uh, the computer's. Uh, memory to the, hey, this is one of those emails that I need to automatically reroute. Um, you can also do it from a to one, so if you're wanting to keep track of somebody you're sending email to um, and just have that on it so it can reroute from your sent box as well as your inbox. Uh, the subject line, if you get the emails that have the same subject um, and you want those all e uh, routed, automatically you can do that. Or specific words um, that are uh, that are in uh, the text of uh, your email or the subject line, um, or specifically does not contain certain words. I'm not quite sure why that would be useful, but um, at some point, uh, sure that is useful, or else it wouldn't be there, um, or has an attachment. Um, I primarily use the from email because oftentimes when I get uh, emails either for ASOP or Applatrack or uh, Wikispaces, they're usually all from the same email address. So I'm going to use uh, from email. I'm going to move this down a little bit because I don't remember the email that I often get there. So actually, I'm going to have to save that and come back. Let me save that. Oh, it wants some letters here. All right, so. Um, wiki at something. Um, we don't know what that is. So we're, now we're going to save it. All right. We'll come back and actually get the right email in there in a little bit. I just need to go back to the inbox and find one of those messages so I can remember what the email is. 
All right, let's come down up. There's a Wikispaces one. So I can click on that and they, let's see. Pull that message up and I need to find who the email is from. Ah, it's from uh, do not reply at wikispaces.com. Uh, another thing you can do here is you can, you'll notice that it's difficult, you can copy and paste it here. So I'm just going to copy, actually, and I don't want the, yeah, just copy that part. So I've copied here, and now I'm going to um, go back to my Wikispaces folder there, click on routing rules, um, find my Wikispaces one, double click on it. Uh, then I'm going to go into the from email and then hit my paste option here. I'm going to take that last bracket off. And if I can make sure it looks right here, it does. All right. Now, now you have the criteria, it's so which emails you're targeting and to do something with. Now you need to tell it what to do. Here I'm going to uh, check mark the move to folder one. And then I'm going to click on the pop up menu that shows up there and I want it to move into the wiki spaces folder and then click save now any new messages i get from wiki spaces will automatically get rerouted to my wiki spaces folder instead of my inbox that doesn't help with your old messages uh, with messages you already have from wiki spaces if you don't delete them and you want to save them um, are still in your inbox so you can click on from um, to get a um, alphabetized uh, the, the from column heading to get an alphabetized uh, listing of all of your emails and then you can come over here to your wiki spaces scroll to the bottom and do a shift click at the very last one to select all of those and then drag those 24 messages to your wiki spaces folder and drop them and now Wikispaces will, all those emails will show up in Wikispaces and are no longer in your inbox. Um, so if you, you don't have to do routing rules on your folders. If you want to move them automatically as you get them, you can go ahead and drag them over just like I showed you there. Um, some other examples that you may use that for. In ASAP, we get our daily messages um, during the school year of uh, people that have called in absent and uh, which uh, sub, sub jobs have been accepted by various subs. We also get uh, the new postings from Cindy Voorhees. I've got the a routing rules set for that. And then also our Apple track whenever an applicant has uh, submitted or completed an application, we get a little notification for uh, jobs that may affect us. So I've got an autumn uh, routing rules that automatically route them into there. Um, you'll know just like your inbox, when you have a new message that's not read, it'll be bold and it'll have a little number to the side. Same thing will happen to these as they're rerouted. So if uh, a new Wikispaces email comes in, it'll be bold and have a number next to it. So you'll know, you don't have to check these all the time to see if there's a new message. Um, it'll, 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 sh it'll sh flag it for you so that you'll know. Uh, I hope that you, this uh, tutorial has been helpful. Um, for future tutorials, if you have some specific things that you'd like to, to learn about, um, let me know and I will see if I can get a tutorial created for you. Thanks and have a great day.